All right, this is lesson seven, session four on multiplication and division in word problems. Students, you should complete these pages before you watch this video. So you need to complete pages 137, 138, 139, and 140 before you watch this video. So go ahead and pause it and come back whenever you're ready. All right, hopefully if you're watching this video still, you have already completed pages 137 through 140. And I'm going to quickly go over the answers with you to help you with making sure that you're doing these correctly. So number one here, a small shrimp taco has five shrimp. There are three times as many shrimp in a large taco. How many shrimp are in a large taco? Write and solve an equation to find the answer. Show your work. So our first question here is, what is this problem about? It's about um, a small shrimp taco and a large shrimp taco. So I'm thinking about going to Taco Bell here and maybe getting a soft taco and a crunchy taco or maybe one of them's bigger than the other, okay? What information is important? Well, five shrimp would be important. I guess they don't have shrimp at Taco Bell, do they? And three times as many shrimp is also important. What am I trying to find out is my third question. My third question here, how many shrimp are in a large taco? That's what I'm trying to find out. And then can I draw, oh, I also want to do write and solve an equation to help find the answer. So we've got a one and a two, and then show our work. And our last one is, can I draw a model to help me solve this? And the answer is yes, I can. So if I'm gonna draw a model, my model is going to have five, because that one is by itself, three times as many, my unknown is how many total there are. And then if I, so, so my unknown ends up becoming 15 because I know that three times five equals 15. So there are 15 shrimp in a large taco. Now go ahead and turn to page 138. Page 138, number one. Christina reads seven pages in a magazine. She reads five times as many pages in a book. How many pages does Christina read altogether? Show your work. Okay, the first thing I need to ask myself is what is this problem about? Well, it's about Christina reading in a magazine. So she must have a good magazine she's reading about. What information is important? Well, seven pages in a magazine, but then she reads five times as many pages in a book. Man, her book must be way better than her magazine if she only read seven in her magazine and five times as many in her book. What am I trying to find out? I'm trying to find out how many pages does Christina read altogether and I also need to show my work. That's important, but I forgot to circle it then. Can I draw a model to solve this? Yes, I can. The seven here is by itself. So the seven is the one that goes in the single box. And then five times as many. So this is where we're gonna have our five, two, three, four, five. We'll put a seven in each of these boxes. Our unknown is the total. But then if we make our equation, it would be seven. Oh, this one's different. We missed this word right here, all together, okay? So that means we're gonna have to add them. So this is a two-part problem, okay? So first I have to find the total number of pages that she read in a book. So in her book, she read seven times five, which is 35. 
but it says all together. How many pages does Christina read all together? That means I have to combine something. So it wants to know how many pages she read in her magazine. Well, it tells us that she read seven in her magazine. So we're gonna add those two numbers together. Seven plus five is 12. Three plus one is four. So she read 42 pages. All right, number three. Ada swims seven laps in a pool. Kaya swims 28 laps. How many times the number of laps Ada swim does Kaya swim? Ooh, this one's interesting. So it tells us here that Ada win swims seven, okay? So Ada wins swims seven, and then it tells us our answer here, which is 28. But what it doesn't give us is it does not give us how many times we have to break our bar model up here. So that's something different. This is a division problem. So if you have 28, you can actually divide it by seven and you can get your total answer, which is also our unknown. If you know your multiplication facts, you can change this around to a new problem. You can change this to seven times what equals 28, because that is the same thing um, as this one up here. You have probably seen something called a fact family, where you have three numbers, and those three numbers can be switched around to get the same answers. So a fact family, we could have seven times something equals 28. We could have something times seven equals 28. We could have 28 divided by seven equals something, or 28 divided by something equals seven. So no matter which way you prefer, if you have two of the numbers for a problem, you can choose any of these ways to plug in the other number. So if I know my multiplication facts, or I can even skip count by seven, seven, 14, 21, 28. So my answer here would be four. My unknown is four. So if I put four, boxes and put seven in each box, my total will end up being 28. So my answer is A. J-Ho chose D as the correct answer. How did he get that answer? Wow. My first guess with a number that, that that's that big is he probably did 28 times seven. So let's see if 28 times seven, you have not learned this way of multiplication yet, Seven times eight is 56. Seven times two is 14, plus five more is 196. So that's right. He multiplied the number of laps each girl swam instead of dividing. And that is our answer. Okay, let's move on over to number four on page 139. Okay, Kyle sells 20 boxes of fruit for a fundraiser. Omar sells two times as many boxes of fruit as Kyle sells. What is the total number of boxes that Kyle and Omar sell? <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so it says here, Kyle sells 20 boxes. Omar sells two times as many. So I'm gonna start with my main box, which is 20, and it says Omar sells two times as many. 
And then this is our unknown. So it would be 20 times two. Well, two times two is four. So then I just need to carry my zero over here, which is 40, or I can do 20 plus 20 is 40. But then it says, what is the total number of boxes that Kyle and Omar sell? So this is another one where we're gonna have to add those numbers together. So Omar sold 40 boxes, but Kyle only sold 20. But we have to add the 20 to the 40 to get our answer, because this is a two-step word problem. Number five, Raul bikes seven miles one week. Jackson bikes 28 miles the same week. How many times as many miles as Raul bikes does Jackson bike? Which equation can help you answer the question? Okay, well, we're talking about two guys biking. Raul bikes seven miles in a week. Jackson bikes 28 miles. This is going to be another one of those where we have this answer, but we don't know what's here. How many times as many, how many times as many miles as rural bikes does Jackson bike? And then which equation can help you find the answer? Well, this one is just like this one that we did over here. We have 28 and we don't know this, so we've got to divide it by this top number. So do any of these match our equation? And the answer is yes, B does. And we know that the answer is four, that this needs to be divided up into four. All right, number six. Which problems can be solved using the equation three times nine equals A? Okay, Pam is nine years old. She is three times as old as Kate. How old is Kate? Okay. So if Pam is nine and she is, she, Pam is nine, but she's three times as old as Kate. So that means this is three times bigger. So this is gonna be a division problem. Well, that's not gonna work because this is multiplication. So we know that A cannot be it. Marco makes nine apple tarts. He uses three apples for each tart. How many apples does he use? Oh, so this is going to be nine. He makes nine tarts, but he uses three apples for each one. So that's gonna be a nine times three. So B would be an answer. Three groups of actors perform and plays at a festival. There are nine actors in each group. How many actors perform in place? So if we have nine in each of them and there's three different groups, that would be three times nine. So this one works too. Okay, on D. An art class meets three times a week, okay? for nine weeks. So three times for nine whole weeks. How many times does the art class meet? So does that match that up here? Yes, it does. So D is the correct answer. Judy finds three acorns, okay? Aaron finds three times as many acorns as Judy. How many acorns does Aaron find? Well, it's a multiplication problem but our numbers are wrong, so it cannot be E. Right, go ahead and turn to our last page, page 140. Okay. All right, number seven on page 140. Maria has 32 postcards. Henry has H postcards. Maria has four times as many postcards as Henry. Select all the correct statements. Well, this is going to be one of those where since we don't know how many postcards he has, but it's if Maria has four times as many, it's going to be a division problem. So we need to find the answers that are like the division problems. 
The number of postcards Henry has can be represented by the expression 32 divided by 4. Yep, that's what we said. Henry has six postcards? Hmm. No, because 32 divided by 4, what would that be? Well, we know our four facts. 8 times 4 is 32, so that one is not correct. The number of postcards Henry can be found by solving the equation 32 equals 4 times H. Yes, because that's a fact family. Henry has 8 postcards. Yes, that's what we figured out. The number of postcards Henry has can be represented by the expression 32 times 4. Oh no, that would make the number way too big. All right, number eight. Viet learns 25 new spelling postcard, new spelling words. That is five times as many words as Max learns. How many words does Max learn? Draw a mar bar model to find the answer. Okay, so we know that this right here is 25 because it tells us that Viet learned 25, okay? And this is going to be the number for Viet. And then it tells us that Max learned five times as many words. So that tells us that this is going to be broken up into fives. So what can we divide 25 divided by five and what does our answer be? Well, five, if we know our multiplication facts, five times what? equals 25. We can even skip but count by fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So the answer is 5 that goes in each of these. All right, go ahead and have your parent check over um, your last problem, number 9, and uh, I'll see you back for lesson 8.